Hi there, I'm Mitchell from BrainFart Studio. Did you know that you can reduce the time it takes to enter play mode after you hit the play button in Unity? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up and talk about why it works. Let's get started. If I go into an empty Unity project and just hit play, you can see that it takes about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so about nine or 10 seconds before play mode actually starts up. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of that. If we wanna reduce this time, we need to configure the enter play mode settings. And you can find these under your project settings. So on your menu bar, go ahead and click edit, go to project settings. And on the panel that comes up, we're gonna go to editor. In my case, I'm already here. Down near the bottom of this panel, there's a section titled Enter Play Mode Settings, and there's a single item under it called Enter Play Mode Options. This is most likely disabled, meaning that Unity is going to use its default settings whenever it's trying to enter play mode. Click this checkbox, and it will enable you to configure the settings yourself. The two options below it should appear, both the re Reload Domain and Reload Scene, but we're going to leave these two options completely unchecked. And that's it. I close this panel and try to enter play mode now. You can see that it does it almost immediately. Now I'm all for tricks like this that save time. But anytime I use them, I also want to understand what's going on behind the scenes. By default, Unity does two things every time you enter play mode, and I am paraphrasing a little bit here. But the first thing Unity does is what's called a domain reload. This creates a complete backup of all your c -sharp scripts, it unloads the original ones, and it creates new ones specifically for this instance of play mode. Then Unity destroys the entire scene and loads it from scratch. Now, the two settings that were available in the interplay mode options that we configured allow you to change that slightly. Instead of creating backups of all your scripts each time, you just use the same script itself. And instead of completely destroying the scene and reloading, you just simulate that and reset everything back to its default positions or settings. This is the application.reload bar that you sometimes see pop up when you enter play mode. Configuring the enter play mode settings is a cool trick, but it's not practical in all situations. There are some cases where scene and domain reloading are necessary, and there's a lot going on under the hood of those processes. As a general rule, you'll want to use this trick early on in the development of your project, uh, but once you near the end of production, you'll want to turn it off. I recommend checking out the Unity documentation and learning as much as you can about the process so that you can make the right decision for your project. So how much time this trick will save you is going to be completely dependent on the size of your project, of course. But just out of curiosity, let's crunch some numbers. Uh, earlier in the video, we saw that it took about 10 seconds to start play mode from an empty Unity project settings. And then enabling this configuration took that time down to nearly instant. Well, last night, I kept track of how many times I entered play mode just in a typical uh, workday, and it happened about 25 to 30 times. We're going to use 25 just for easy calculation. So if we multiply that 10 seconds by 25 times, you can see that altogether it saved me about 250 seconds. Well, if we divide that by 60 seconds in a minute, we saved about four minutes total last night. Now, that's not really a whole lot in the grand scheme of things, but what about over the course of an entire year? If we take this four minutes and multiply it by 365 days, it gives us 1,520 seconds. To divide that by 60 seconds in a minute, and we get more than 25 hours saved. That's more than an entire day. And this is just with an empty Unity project. The larger your project gets, and the more people you have working on it, the more time this little trick is going to save you. 
Configuring the interplay mode settings for your Unity project helps save you time. It's not hours a day, I wish it was, and honestly, it's barely noticeable, but over time, it definitely adds up. Be sure to try it out on your next Unity project. And if you found this tutorial helpful, hit that like button for me. And if you want more Unity tips and tricks and a lot of other information on game development, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.